In this video we're going to have a look at how watergraph can be used to introduce vectors, the vector sum, the vector difference, the parallelogram law and the unit circle. Okay, so let's start from a scratch and first of all if I want to introduce the idea of a vector there's nothing here about a vector. Well, it's a vector straight line, that's something else. But um, we need a point. If we have a point, then we can draw a vector because the vector needs to know where it's starting. But let's do a three along and one up. Three along and one up would be like that. Now, the first thing to realize, of course, is this vector is exactly the same vector wherever you put this point. So although the point was necessary, it doesn't have to be in a particular position. So let's put another point up here and show that there's another way to define vectors in autograph, which is from one point to the next. So right click, create a vector. Now this is rather different because it means you can move either end around quite happily. All right, now because that vector could be anywhere, we can actually copy it across to here. We must always select a point if we want to do any vector operation in autograph. So let's copy the vector. And let's copy this vector and put it here and right click, copy vector. So we have created the parallelogram made up of those two vectors. Now to introduce vector algebra, it's important to realize that the starting point is that the sum of two vectors is the definition. So the sum of two vectors, this vector plus this vector, is the sum of the x's and the sum of the y's. And therefore it's that diagonal. So to demonstrate this, we'll select that vector, this vector, and this point here and right click add vectors and there we have the diagonal. Now to introduce the idea of a negative vector it might be an idea to think about how it's done in ordinary arithmetic. So let's say we've got the number 3 and we want to add it to negative 3. The answer of course is 0. So it, this introduces the idea of, of subtraction so we, in order to make it work, we need to have a negative defined and a zero defined. Trivial in ordinary arithmetic, but in vectors it just needs a little bit of thought. So I'm going to drag this point around here until the sum is zero. So if I can do that, then I have successfully established that there is such a thing as a zero vector, and a negative vector is just the same as a positive vector, but everything is minus what it was. So if we want to, to subtract say this vector and this vector, we need to have, have the order correct, but it's going to be minus this one. This is this one positive, so going the other way is minus this one plus this one, so the subtraction of these two vectors is going to be the other diagonal. So it's quite extraordinary, really, that the, the two essential arithmetic operations of vectors are sorted out by the two diagonals. So let's try this, so this one and this one, and put the answer here, and right-click uh, subtract vectors. There it goes. We can also introduce the idea of a unit vector by putting a point here, a circle of radius 1. And so if we ask for this vector and this point and then the unit vector, you can see that it's in the same direction as this but length 1 and it merely goes around the circle like that. So there we go. That's a quick introduction to vectors in autograph.